2018 men's quarter-final match. Gregory Gautier of France to serve. Miguel Angel Rodriguez of Colombia to receive. Best of five games. Love all. Well, the uh, fantastic uh, articulation there of John Mazzarella rolling his R's as usual. So we hit this last quarter-final. Rodriguez looking very fashionable in the old uh, Rafa Nadal-style sleeveless top. Both these guys in tremendous physical shape. Hasn't exactly had an easy run on the draw front, Gregory Gaultier, yeah. when you think about it, Johnny. No, but you mentioned in the first oh, right. round it was probably the best thing that could have happened to him in preparation for this stage that Mazan Hesham really gave him a run for his money. Mazan Hesham was uh, playing extremely well and uh, wasn't so impatient. He was quite a disciplined performance. He made, he made Gaultier earn it and that one hour, just slightly over one hour plus minutes on the court will stand Gaultier in good stead here in this quarter final match. Oh, sorry, started. I think that'll be a no let. Too low. Right. Tell you what, he uh, looks like he's yeah. just come straight out of the hairdresser too, Joey. Rodriguez. Oh, no, no, he's, uh, he's properly prepped. He's. Remember when we. Uh, Every single fanta here. Fantastic event in Cartagena. Rodriguez spent a lot of time sunbathing before his match, and uh, unfortunately he didn't get past the first round. Hopefully he's uh, not been in the sun too much, although it was pretty cloudy today. Johnny, you're the first person that I've known that's put on factor 50 and still got burnt. Now that to <laughs> me is, I mean, that's basically like putting really white paint on yourself. Uh, how how do you do it? Well, the best part about all of it was that you continuously tell me every day not to worry about it. The red burn will just turn to colour, so... Uh, no need to fret. <laughs> We're still waiting for it. Until, until, I, until I look like a lobster. <laughs> at that point in time, as I'm entering the hospital, I might start to worry, according to you. Well, I have not sabotaged your suntan cream. It's impossible <laughs> to try and get factor 50 out the bottle because it's like glue. Caught it in the warm-up. Galtier had a oh, pretty steely oh, 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 oh. look about him. <laughs> that was a wicked shot. This is oh, when well. he's at his very best for me. He's patient, looking strong in the very early stages of a match, and then rips out a winner like that. That's good work from Rodriguez. Hand out, one, four. Pretty similar when you look at the way each player is moving and hitting the ball here. Similar in stature as Rodriguez is not sure about that one, but look good to me. Main difference for me is just the extra quality that Galtier has on his shots. Just a, a little bit more precision when needed. Gives him a slight advantage as the rally just drags on. So Rodriguez, from my perspective, has to be prepared to do a little bit more work over the course of the match Down. and then wait for errors like that. Two, four. Well, Gaultier does win this uh, last quarter final. He'll be the only non-Egyptian in the men's. And then you've got Massaro, who's the only non-Egyptian in the women's already. Yeah. She's 34 Gaultier years of age, Gaultier 35. So Gaultier just getting a fresh racket. I'm not sure if it was string or was it uh, the actual frame. Yeah. 
Well, that was uh, like dealing cards then. It was hard to know which racket he was picking out. <laughs> shuffling cards, should yeah, I say. Yeah, shuffling rackets. It almost looked like a racket trick. <laughs> he may even have the original racket <laughs> in his that's hand, for all we know. That's what, I'm trying, that's what I was alluding to, possibly, but... 2-4. He's very, very fussy about rackets, that's for sure. Uh, yes. Not one to complain. Oh, he's picked the right one, Joey. <laughs> I told you the original one that uh, he had originally. Oh, that was walloped. Oh, he does bring something else, doesn't he? Livens everyone up, Gaultier. Do you think we'll see some disco time? I think we definitely could see some disco time here. He's got the top on. I'm waiting for the first uh, pirouette, 360. So this is a magnificent opening to this match. Oh! Yes, lad. Yes, lad. <laughs> Suits you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well. Five, two. Ouch. <laughs> Matthew Benoit would be using all sorts of uh, surgical equipment to try and uh, sort Gaultier out after that one <laughs> if he'd have hit it. Where's, have you ever been drilled by the ball? Oh, yeah, many times. Most painful place? In the middle of the back, I think. <laughs> uh, but it, was with, it was actually playing with the AIS guys. We used to have some fun, of course, but we were out in the tennis court one day and then uh, playing doubles, and then one of the guys set up a, a smash, and I had Simon Baker, who some may remember, Oh. And uh, he was quite a ruthless uh, young man, and he decided to just Thank absolutely you. cane the ball into the middle of my back, nice. the tennis ball. Oh, the tennis ball? Yeah, and that did not tickle. No, but not squash ball. No. We also played fun games where we lay on the bottom of the tin, playing three-quarter court. Yeah, that's weird. Goltier just going a little bit uh, fishing there, had the reel out. To be doing that in your early mid 20s is very odd. So you've got a lot of time on your hands in Australia, Johnny. So Goltier, as you said, Joey, he's come out looking very, very serious tonight. And when he gets in this stingy mood, and I call it stingy, not just in the unforced errors, he just refuses to give his opponents anything to hit. No, I mean, I really like the point you made about um, when Camille Cern was playing, about the French players with their positioning on the tee. The French players have a very wide stance. Thierry Linky was the same, and, it, and it's like a defensive stance. It's stopping the opponent, it's not blocking, it's just like stopping the opponent getting in front of them. Gaultier does that brilliantly. And he's in that mode. You're completely right. He's uh, he's not giving anything away here. It's going to test the mental capacity of Rodriguez. Just too good. He's solid as a rock. I mean, if he gets through this, Johnny, he's got to play hey, Ali Farag. And Farag looked very right. smooth tonight. So, again, Gaultier, the 35-year-old veteran, sending out a message. Rodriguez hasn't really played badly either, and he's 8-2 down. Not at all. I think Rodriguez is uh, continuing on in the same vein that he did in the first two rounds where he was good enough to... <laughs> Goltiers, he was quite irritable in the last round. Now he's not happy about the fact that the sweat off the top of Rodriguez's shoulder... No, but he's... he's, he's he is right now. I've got to admit, I used to actually, and this is very embarrassing, I used to actually at times wear those sleeves. I do remember yeah, that, yeah. I know. And I'm embarrassed to admit it, and I did. And when you think about the sweat scenario, 
I mean, in tennis, you're separated by net, so you're not rubbing up against your opponent and stuff. And obviously, you know, that's a different factor. But with 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 the sweat that's coming off Rodriguez in these warm conditions, he's got a point there, Gaultier. He needs to be wearing at least two, you know, another sweatband on the other arm, Rodriguez. So you're not a fan, or not no, an no, advocate? No. Or I think it looks really cool. I'm one for the fashions, you know that. It's it just the practicality of when we're trying to get the floor sorted. So basically, what I'm trying to say is that Rodriguez can't really say to Gaultier, well, why are you asking for the floor to be wiped? Gotcha. Well, the general is uh, quite clearly, that's a beautiful shot. He just, awareness there, I mean, he's been pounding lines for the whole game up until 8-2. He hasn't even thought about playing an angle like this. <laughs> First time that Go Rodriguez runs around that side, he, he sniffs it out and uh, he really has played beautifully in this first game. This is Gaultier at his best for me. A real balance between very good discipline, length and width, and then the subtle changes and the severe attacks. And that is a great shot. It is a great shot, but it's not a good sign that Rodriguez has to resort to playing winners like this from the back of the court. It won't worry Gaultier too much. <laughs> He's motioning now to people on the front wall to sit down. He's the general. He is, I was just about to say, there's a lot of general... Uh, he's the general. He's making sure that everything's in place and everyone's in their position. Yeah, he's the major <laughs> sergeant. He's the lieutenant colonel. Everything all rolled into one. And that, he gets a clap there even. That's an incredible shot. I mean, this has just Four, rolled off his rackets into the adjoining side, Nick. Yeah, beautiful shot. Two in a row from the cannonball. Well, Rodriguez responding, crowd getting behind him. Five, nine. So a hat-trick of points for Rodriguez. It's a nice little flip around the corner there, and he's think he's worked the stroke there. Yeah, it's the right decision. Gaultier's kind of waving his arms, but because Gaultier slightly slipped in the lunge, he wasn't able to clear. Solid decision there from Mazzarella. Comes in, he just loses his footing a little bit, unable to clear. Oh, this is well played here from Rodriguez, but... Gaultier says it was down. Seven, good, good. Rodriguez thinks it's uh, fine, and Seven, so does nine. John Mazzarella. That's the most important. Oh, couldn't have been any closer to the top of the tin. That was uh, the finest of margins. Yes, lad. Seven, nine. So, right, Miguel Rodriguez has won five points on the trot here. He's... Chipped away. He's not uh, given up the ghost yet. Managed to scrape that up. Goltier doesn't like it, but good from here. So all credit to the Colombian Cannonball for just sticking to his guns here. And there's another magnificent good. winner. Pick up was good. No, I'm happy it was good. No, it's good. Play on. Play on. Eight, nine. Oh, that was just as a beautiful uh, shot there. And the fist pump, Rodriguez, is on the march here. Eight, nine. And it's been all winners on Rodriguez's part, Joey. I mean, uh, it's been, uh, he's had to do it. We've been waiting for a quality game with both players playing well at the same time. And uh, Rodriguez has responded.
It's good work here down the backhand line. This is how he's setting things up. That's oh, a great shot. Oh, my goodness shot. me. The vamos from Rodriguez. <laughs> Seven on the trot, Joey. Ridiculous Nine comeback. All. I mean... In the, on the best of days, try to win seven points against Greg Goltier, let alone from 2-9. And he's won them. It's not been freebies. It's been... Oh, <laughs> yes! <laughs> Do drop in, General. Finally, we've got some Game life four. going in this event, Johnny Bonnie. That's wow. more like it. You've blown me ballistically out of my chair. <laughs> there she blows. <laughs> Leisure centre post, and he might be in trouble here, Joey. Yes, lad. Oh, Gaultier couldn't have been any quicker to the side, Dion. <laughs> Player with you, Gaultier, on the S-let decision. Interesting choice of shot from uh, Rodriguez. It was the leisure centre post that put him on the back foot. There is a bit of body work there going off from Gaultier, though. Now he's just stepped in his line a little bit there. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of impact there. And you're looking at uh, one of the fastest players on the World Tour. I think that's the right decision. Yes, Led, the decision of foul. Gaultier has no reviews remaining. He plays Ten every ball, Rodriguez. Ball. He does go Mr. through Gaultier, and play every ball. Be careful taking space. John Mazzarella just getting his uh, warning. Game ball for the general. Best first game we've had, I think. There was a terrific one with Rosner and El Shabagi, but uh, for me, this is the best so far. Well, Rodriguez is uh, starting to look more like the world number four when he was at his best world ranking. This tournament has suddenly livened him up. Oh, this oh. is brilliant. It's brilliant. Superb squash. So happy one game to, low. to see both these guys playing like this. And as Johnny said, Rodriguez showing why he got to world number four. Unlucky for him to lose out after such a comeback. 17 minutes, that's more like it. And it's the general that leads one game to love. Well, there you go. I mean, Joe mentioned it in the uh, throughout the game. I mean, eight winners to six, 14 winners out of 20 points. And the other points that were scored were squeezed, squeezes on, on uh, both players. So this was just an absolute quality game of squash. You couldn't hope for anything better. 17 minutes of viewer pleasure, really. So I hope that uh, the viewers are going to stay with us because this match is really starting to heat up. Well, the general came to town here and the winner of this match will be the only player not from Egypt in the semi-finals and both these two are showing that they'd be worthy semi-finalists. Greg Goltier was just at the top of his game, he was crunching winners down both flanks. Rodriguez was parked behind him in the early stage of the game and could, just found it very, very difficult to remove Goltier from the tee and he had to uh, come back from a 9-2 deficit, but then Rodriguez let the arm go a little bit, decided to go for some winners, got back to 9-all, but then Goltier slams in a cross-court nick. Very harsh uh, for Rodriguez to have to absorb. After all that work, it doesn't lead to anything other than Goltier winning the first game.